LJ Felix here, yet again another wireless microphone system. Just keeps getting better and better. Well, nice to meet you, and thank you for tuning in. Well, it is 5.30 in the morning, so let's get some coffee first. I don't recommend drinking energy drinks right in the morning, but oh, this thing is good. Adding coffee to the grocery list. Well, thank you again for dropping by this video. As you can tell by the thumbnail of the video, this is your curious about this little gadget right here. It's the Full Aim X5. Full Aim is really getting somewhere when it comes to professional audio. Full Aim was founded in 2018, a company engaged to professional audio systems with each product that come out, products that come one step further ahead. First off, there are a good amount of wireless microphones out there, but why Full Aim? Yeah, it's cheaper, yet still delivers really great audio output. And then costing at $150, that's insane. This does have a low cut filter, you know, the one touch noise reduction function. You just press the set button on the side to activate it, to turn it on. And does this sound better? You know, because we're at a place at the beach where all the waves are clashing, you can hear it. Maybe I'm just gonna record some of the ambient sounds for, you know, if you're in the beach, just record some audio. I'm here to get some vitamin C. <laughs> Relax a bit, just to uh, sink in whatever I can get to uh, start the day. Fresh air. And it's nice to see all these different kind of people, you know, just trying to walk their days out just to continue on with their days too, you know, like what we all do. There we go. Okay, let's go. This has an onboard memory of four gigabytes, which on some cases you won't need to plug in the receiver to your device. Say you're DSLR, mirrorless, your GoPro, even like what I'm doing right now, cell phone. All you gotta do is just record internally with this thing right here. All you gotta do is press the set button, I'll hold it for two seconds to start the recording, hold it again for two seconds to stop the recording. And all you gotta do is just plug it into your computer via USB A to C, and you just gotta export that thing with a simple copy paste and bring it in into post. You can record some ambiences, like uh, how I did at the beach, catching some audio waves. Get it? Audio waves? <laughs> What's also great about this is that it can be used with your mobile device, plus your computer, you know, for work calls, meetings, and so on. Just plug in the receiver, attach your transmitter onto your shirt, and you're good to go. Of course, this has the magnetic attachment to the easily hook it up to your shirt, inward or outward, however you like. It's pretty strong too. This also has a UV sterilization bulb built inside the case. Whenever it's closed shut, the UV bulbs will turn on, then off after five minutes, which is handy if you're pretty much like a clean freak. Well, it's already 11.10, and this microphone still has some juice in it. Well, battery. So that goes from 18 hours in total. So that is six hours each microphone, and you could charge it in the case within for two times, which is a good amount, a good amount of battery, enough for you to get through your day, enough to get through your projects and everything else. I, that is more than enough that you need. 
Looks good, doesn't it? Let's pray, I guess. It's yummy. It is a pretty good microphone. Wireless microphone, in fact. It's not something premium as you would think, but it is well worth it and well good enough for your own needs. The only downsides that I think for these kind of uh, microphones is the having these file names that are being created on board. It, you know, it shows, you know, file name zero one. That's for the first one. For the second one, file name zero two, file name zero three and so on and so on. So it just stays, you know, consistent with the one, two, three and so on and so on. But whenever you transfer it to a computer, it recognizes it, you know, as one, two, three in your project. So then whenever you'd have to record something again afterwards, it would still say file name zero one, file name zero two, zero three, and so on and so on. Then when I import it again, file names would be exactly the same. Zero, one, two, three. The consistency, the continuity of these file names would have to be renamed. So I'd have to rename, you know, file name zero one a file name zero two a it would be great to have you know consistent one two three all the way to however many numbers that you would be recording on to your device they really did step up their game with uh with all of these microphones pretty good and it's pretty easy to handle it's pretty easy pretty convenient and pretty cheap I guess that's it. I think I must go to bed now. Right now it is 11.40, so off to bed. Thank you for watching and thank you for sticking around up until to this video. Thank you very much, you're awesome. Appreciate it so much. And I'll see you guys in the next one, okay? LJ Felix, out. Good night. <sighs> no, I'm just kidding, I don't really. I don't really sleep here, so... <laughs> Bye.